What's up guys? I've got something a little bit different to bring to you today. Obviously, normally when you tune into one of my videos, I'm gonna be talking about tech, something specific, maybe Surface Duo related, maybe Z Fold related, who knows, something tech related. But today, we're only kind of going to do that because today I'm gonna to give you a tour of my studio, the room in my house that I do all of my work in. Uh, I just hit 6,000 subscribers a couple of weeks back or however long ago that's been. I have no concept of time. And I had told some people in some comments that uh, who had asked for a studio tour, I said to them, I said, I'll do it when I hit 6,000 subscribers. And uh, well, like I said, that's already happened. So studio tour, of course, is something that I have promised. So thanks for helping me hit 6,000 subscribers. And if you enjoy this video, let me know. I don't know how many people will enjoy this, but for the handful of you that might be curious, that might enjoy it, here you go. It's not a very large room, but it is where I spend the vast majority of my time before anyone asks this is being recorded on a galaxy z fold 2 um and before we get over to like the workstation -y good stuff i'm gonna like spend some time elsewhere so the first thing you may notice is this um insane shelving unit looking thing and what this is is kind of kind of nuts actually um this is just like a basic shelf and some scrap wood i had to enclose it and what it is uh is an enclosure a double enclosure for a couple of leopard geckos. That is Leo chilling out, hanging out. His uh, extra uh, mats are being washed, so we have a potty pad down in the meantime while those are being washed. And then up top, same thing is true for Solaire, who is, I believe, in there. Yep, there's Solaire sticking his head out. And um, it's set to timers, and there's heaters and so, so forth on the bottom. But it works really well. It keeps all my stuff kind of nice and clean and tucked away. I keep dog food down there, too. It's like a, a, a an all-in-one pet station. So this closet is not actually a closet. This closet is uh, actually now an enclosure as well for a chameleon named Ducky, who lives in here. And she's got a little you know, water thing with some bubbles going so she can see it. Uh, I'm kind of, this is a weird idea, but it, this is a battery powered aerator and it's it's in a box with some uh, soundproofing foam because it's really loud otherwise. So I kind of quieted it down a bit like that. But she just lives in here. She's got heat. She's got lights on, on a timer and uh, all that good stuff. And she just uh, has a good time in here and uh, lives in a closet. UVB bulbs, don't worry. She's very healthy. Um, I've got some guitars here hung on the wall. I've got a very old Music Man amp from like the 70s. Uh, some more gear from the 70s. I've got a couple of, or four of these big Pioneer um, speakers, a record player, a receiver, which has a Bluetooth dongle attached so that it can play stuff from my computer if I want to do that. Ukulele. If it's got strings, I can probably fake my way through playing it. All kinds of boxes and just random stuff up there on the wall. Um, what else before I get to the main course here? Just some more stuff, more boxes, just more random trinkets and tech and things like that in there. Nothing too crazy. Let's get now to the stuff I'm sure everybody actually cares about uh, more than more than pets. So, audio. Um, this is a Blue Yeti. Just a, I guess it was just the standard Blue Yeti. It's just on a little uh, boom arm. Works really well, sounds really nice. I've got my Sony Alpha 6100 up top, also on a microphone boom arm because they work great for this stuff. I've got right now a OnePlus 7 Pro in here and I use that for my overhead camera if I need that for anything. And then I've got my ring light also on a boom arm because I have three of them and they work great. Um, what else? A couple of Samsung 27 inch curved displays here. I do use a SteelSeries uh, keyboard. I do not remember the name of this keyboard. There's a review on the channel for it. If I can remember, I'll put a link to that description. If I forget to do that, please let me know in the comments. Um, of course, some uh, you know some Tylenol for when the Tennessee Titans lose to the uh, New York Jets today. I'll, I'll need that to help me get through that kind of a loss. Um, SteelSeries mouse as well. I don't remember the name of this mouse either. Maybe it's on the bottom. I don't know. Let's find out. It says there the Sensei 310. Yeah, good mouse. Um, it's very lightweight. Uh, some basic Amazon basic speakers. Got a stream deck here for controlling. Either like if I'm like gaming, I can quickly you know save a clip or record a clip, whatever. If I'm if I'm in uh, OBS filming, 
I can go through, you know, stop, start recording, go through my different scenes and stuff there. That works really well. I've talked about this guy on a video. My Z Fold usually lives there. Um, that's the dongle to my um, Steel Series headphones, which are in the floor. Uh, Galaxy Tab S7, which was charging off of that dock. Got to keep the glasses clean, right? Obviously, Surface Duo, Arc Mouse, which was paired to my tab as I was sitting here, like, multitasking like crazy earlier. Various controllers and so forth back here in the corner that I would use from time to time. Uh, what else? USB uh, capture card that I use to capture video out and stuff when I'm doing that. Keep my Surface headphones up there as well as an external drive. And that's it. That's a um, Bluetooth speaker, if I could think. And this is my custom built computer here. Um, actually, let's turn these lights back off and you can probably see a bit better inside there. This thing is a Core i7. I don't remember which one. It's not the most recent one. It might be like a generation old now. Um, Core i7, it is a GTX 1070 Ti, uh, 24 gigs of RAM, I think, because I had like a random, <laughs> like a couple of random sticks of RAM when I upgraded Jesse's stuff. So I got, you know, a weird amount of RAM, but whatever. Uh, I've got a Wi-Fi card in there as well, but it is plugged in Ethernet because that's better. Um, pretty standard power supply. Got a, I need, this needs to be upgraded because this is pretty old now. This is back when SSDs were really expensive, but it is, you know, it's fine. And then on top of that, I've got a normal hard drive. And then, like I said, I've got the external, which um, I keep a lot of stuff on there too, a lot of bulk files but that is my computer that i game on and that i edit on and that i film on everything you see happens because of that uh, particular case i also keep my networking stuff down here that is a pretty uh, generic basic uh, modem and then i have an orby system it's a little dirty a little dirty orby system which basically allows me to have this and then there's a satellite uh, access point in another room of the house I think that's about it. If I miss anything that you saw that I just glanced by because I see this stuff every day and I don't think any of it's worth talking about, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, try my best to explain whatever it was and tell you what it is. I'll have links to things in the description. If I've got a video about them, I'll link to them. Some of these things I've talked about in the past. Again, hopefully this was enjoyable to like two or three of you. I have no idea, but yeah. Stay tuned for more actual content in the coming days and weeks. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend. Bye.